That scumbag, McCaffrey! He took more bribes than anyone. He thinks he's gonna get an honorable discharge if he turns state evidence. He just squealed. He's under armed protection in which that property down in Newport, some apartment behind a car park. Torch that place. That's it. Flush him out and you hunt him down. Make sure he never talks to nobody. In himself, he has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat worker. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if she is like a farmer. And now, Jerry is saved. By sleeping with other women. Whatever it takes to save a beautiful union, a blessing. A beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. <laughs> That's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Ladlow. Janet. I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me today. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of uh, forced him on me. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janice, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he don't make you happy? No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Angry and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty lady. But no, it is for women too. For Janice, if her husband goes to New Beginning, she thinks Senor Wonderful all over again. And in the extreme case, maybe she comes to work for me. And she get a New Beginning herself. She discovered the excitement and the passion all for herself. This is Janice, you call me Cinco, Cinco, Cinco. Nueve dos, nueve dos. <laughs> now listen, don't try to pimp out my listeners. That is a very early word. Ignore me for it. Ignore me for it. 